the subject of physics um, very much depends on mathematics and we have extremely good equations theories to describe uh, vast ranges of physical activity I mean how particles move how bodies move well going back to Newton uh, most of what we know about the dynamics of bodies uh, including how the planets move and so on to a very good approximation uh, came from Newton's ideas and that's a very mathematical theory you need, you need to know the planets are attracted by each other gravitationally by an inverse square law and this makes the planets move around the sun in ellipses and that kind of thing which was uh, a first step in understanding how the movements of the heavenly bodies but it's also modern mathematical physics we accept all that except it's got modified by Einstein in particular when motions get very large or when you want extreme accuracy or when gravitational fields get very strong you have to worry about Einstein's theory of gravity which is a much more complicated theory although a very beautiful one it describes the motion of planets not just by force attracting each bodies to each other but by the fact that the whole space and time space and time sort of fit together into a four dimensional structure and Einstein has equations which tell us how that behaves very difficult to work out in practice but important if you want to know certain things like well we know now that for example there are things called black holes where gravity gets so strong that uh, things collapse into this hole in a sense uh, where nothing can escape from and our galaxy the Milky Way galaxy this you know stars that you see which are, look like almost a sort of a milky background to the sky and certain across the sky at the center in Sagittarius there is a place where there lives uh, a black hole which is about four million times the mass of the Sun and people can see stars they can track stars going around it and okay you don't see them move just like that but, but over periods of weeks you can actually see the movements and uh, this is something which tells us there is this very very concentrated object as I say about four, time, four million times the mass of the Sun at the center of the galaxy so that's an example of the sort of thing you can do with mathematical physics understanding the general principles which tell us how things move uh, that's, I've talked about gravity but in other areas too electromagnetic effects Maxwell, the great Scottish uh, mathematical physicist James Clark Maxwell who um, well a lot of the equations of electricity and magnetism were known but they were incomplete and Maxwell by theoretical reasons realized there must be another term in it and the whole thing fitted together in what we now call Maxwell's equations Maxwell's equations not only tell you how electricity and magnetism work but they tell us how light works that was a fantastic realization which came about from Maxwell's equations he realized that electric and magnetic fields when they oscillate will push each other along through space at the speed of light and so he postulated that light was electric and magnetic fields sort of pushing each other along because he worked out that it would be the speed of light and that's what light was and that was a fantastic achievement <laughs>